very excited to have you all here today. I'd like to talk about one of my favorite places in the entire world, Walt Disney World. Um, how many of you have ever been on vacation to Disney World? Wow, everyone, that's fantastic. And how many of you are also maybe planning to go again in the future? <laughs> Great, well as you know, going to Disney can be an amazing experience. You can make memories last a lifetime. However, the planning can also be daunting and a little bit stressful at times because there are so many logistics to it. So, in my presentation, I am going to highlight three main points of how to plan your Disney vacation. How to get started, um, what you need to do to select your hotel, and what dining options are available to you. I have pulled together this comprehensive planning guide based on my own personal experience, uh, research I've done, as well as an interview with a Disney cast member. Okay, getting started. So you want to go to Disney. The first thing you have to decide is when. There's been a lot of um, you know, controversy over this as to like what time of the year you want to go. I don't want to persuade anyone, but I'd like to point out that weather is a huge um, component of this. In the summer, it can be extremely hot and humid, and in the winter and spring, you will have milder temperatures. Another thing to consider are the crowds. Um, the Disney, Walt Disney World is more crowded um, around major holidays as well as spring break. So some people might recommend avoiding the park at those times. Um, the next step is determine how long you want to go for. Um, I spoke with a Disney cast member and she recommends not only visiting between March and May for the weather and also because um, the prices are a little lower, but she says about six to seven days is the ideal time for your vacation. That way you can um, visit all four of the main parks as well as hitting any major attractions. So that brings me to the next step. I included this because I didn't know if everyone had been there, but it looks like you guys have all been. Um, the four main theme parks are Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. There are also two water parks. This will come in handy if you do go in the summer. I highly recommend that you go to Typhoon Lagoon or Blizzard Beach. There is another area that's very interesting. It's called Disney Springs. This has this is an outdoor shopping, dining, entertainment type complex that has um, it includes Disney Quest, which is an interactive theme park. has lots of video games. Um, the Lego Store is is one of the shopping experiences you can have, and they also have a Cirque du Soleil show um, there that you. Um, okay, next step. So now you know where you're going. You know for how long. How are you going to get there? If you want to fly, I recommend uh, doing some re research online, comparing prices and times and different airlines and making a reservation. Then you also need to determine how you're going to get to the airport. If you're going to drive, um, some things that you might need are a map or GPS driving directions. If you're traveling with kids, I highly recommend snacks and entertainment for them. And you may also need to book a hotel if it's a very long drive. You might want to split it up and um, have a plan for stopping along the way. The second main point is selecting a hotel. Um, according to the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World, there are three main factors in selecting a hotel. First is price, the location, and amenities. Um, you can find a hotel in either in on Disney property or in the Orlando area for pretty much any price point. You just have to determine what your budget is. Um, the location, you want to decide how close you want to be to the parks. Is there one in particular that you like to be close to? And you also have to consider travel time because some of the buses from the properties make multiple stops on the way and you have to consider how much time it's going to actually take you to get where you're going. And one of the most important decisions that we will touch on in another slide is whether you're going to stay on or off the Disney property. Um, some amenities to consider. Some may be important to you, some may not. Um, restaurants that the hotels have, does it have a pool or a water slide? What kind of other recreational activities do they have? Um, as well as you know, 
room size and transportation. These are all things that you want to consider. Okay. Um, Matt, so this is just to show you a general idea of how large Walt Disney World is. You can see that there are clusters of hotels all around the Magic Kingdom. There's some around Animal Kingdom, um, throughout Epcot and um, Hollywood Studios. And the pricing goes, the more, the closer you are to the Magic Kingdom, the more expensive the hotels are. And as you get further and further away, you'll pay less. Okay, where to stay? Um, okay, if you want to stay on property, there are many benefits. You will have access to fast passes 60 days before your arrival, which is a reservation system for attractions. You have complimentary resort transportation um, from the parks to your hotel, but you also have it between your hotel and the airport. You have access to extra magic hours, which are when the parks open early or stay open late for the Disney guests. And you can also take part in the Disney dining plan. If you stay off-site, um, op it might be a good option if you're traveling with a large party. If you want to rent a condo or some sort of larger um, property. You must provide your own transportation to the parks and you're not eligible for the Disney dining plan or the extra magic hours. Um, and you do have access to fast passes, but only 30 days before your arrival. Third and last point, oh geez. okay, um, are dining plans. There are three different dining plans. They all include meals and snacks and a refillable resort mug. There's two major differences. One is a table service, which is a seated meal at one of the Disney restaurants, and the quick service is on-the-go counter service um, in the parks. Um, you can make reservations 180 days in advance, um, <clears throat> and it's highly recommended for some of the more popular restaurants, such as Cinderella's Royal Table and Be Our Guest. Um, also, you can cancel reservations up to 24 hours in advance. Um, okay. um, here are some pictures from my last two trips to Disney. Uh, character meals. This is a big, big thing for me and my family because my daughter loves meeting characters, but I do not like waiting online to meet them. So this is a great way you can sit down, have a meal, and have the characters come to you. You can get their autographs and take pictures. Um, lastly, I'd just like to say enjoy your vacation. Um, I hope that you, know, you don't get overwhelmed in your planning. You follow my three points of um, deciding when and where, uh, how long, picking your hotel, and your dining options. Um, thank you, and I hope that you enjoy your trip.